home vlog. So tonight we're just gonna hang out at our home on wheels. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cook some dinner outside. I actually found a recipe for um, bacon jam. Mm -hmm. We're really interested in that, so I'm gonna try to make a keto version. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> that might be the most exciting thing we're gonna do tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the puppies are out here with us, mm -hmm. so we're just gonna enjoy the great weather. Mm -hmm. You ready for some foods? I'm down for anything with bacon in it, yes. Okay, so can you set up the Blackstone for me? Sure. Thanks, best friend. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's go. Woo! We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full-time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. RVTV, K and E on VTV, sing it with us. Chef Aaron, what's on the menu today? <laughs> what's you. your problem? Excuse you. <laughs> we just turned the air conditioner off to film, and now he can hear everything. So it's like, what? <laughs> what? What? Okay, so tonight I am attempting to make a keto version of bacon jam. We've seen some recipes for bacon jam floating around social media and TikTok and things like that. And Kim's been craving it. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to try to make a keto version, so that's what we're gonna do tonight. So we're starting off with a pound of low sodium bacon. We have a tablespoon of a brown sugar replacement, some dried thyme, red pepper, onion, and butter. And these are the ingredients I'm gonna use to attempt to make this jam. We'll see how it goes. I'm starting off, I have my um, skillet heating up already. We're gonna drop 10 slices of bacon and cook those up and then we'll, I'll show you the rest. Look at this little cutie patootie hanging out outside. Cody, hi. <laughs> he loves just sitting outside and chilling, watching everybody walk by, getting some fresh air. So I'm gonna come outside and show y'all what's happening out here. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> it's really nice out tonight. It is 82 degrees. Everybody's outside making fires, barbecuing. It smells fantastic. Our neighbors are playing cornhole. Living in the RV park is really fun. Everyone's always out having a great time. Super chill and relaxed. Yes. Gorgeous. I was thinking about making a fire, but it's a little warm. I prefer making uh, fires when it's a little bit cooler outside. But I also, at the same time, love playing with fire. Should we do a fire? Yes or no? I don't think I want to. But it's like kind of warm. That's what I said. I mean, it was a little windier earlier too. So like, I was like, maybe we shouldn't. But I mean, we always love the fire. So. I know, and I like. Maybe we could wait, and when it gets a little darker, see if it gets cooler. Mm -hmm. In the night, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Okay. How's my beer that you stole? <laughs> I'm in the freezer, so it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so I just came inside of my lap. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lap dog. Sixty pound lap dog right here. <laughs> the best smell in the world. And then nothing beats the smell of bacon. Seriously. Nothing. And when you live in an RV park, everybody is cooking bacon all the time so you can smell it everywhere you go. Every time we walk so the dogs, true. you always smell somebody it's cooking so bacon. <laughs> so I am geographically challenged, which is probably not the best thing when you're living in an RV traveling around the US. So Kim, for my birthday this year, which was in March, she got us this super cool map that you can stick on the side of the RV and then each state that you hit there's a sticker so you can pop it on there after you've traveled there so we're gonna put that bad so I got up. this for her in March it is now June and we still haven't put it up yet no. <laughs> but I already cleaned the spot we're gonna put it right here next to the door so we see it every time we go in I like it all right, so we pull that bad boy off the backing and it's about to go on Lucy. Tell me where to stick it. All right, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. Maybe uh -oh. Oh, 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 where? Oh. Maybe try to line up the bottom of the map with like the little that? dent in the, the refrigerator vent right there. Tell me where. Okay, hold on, hold on guys. I gotta put the camera down. <laughs> 
20 minutes and a few arguments later, <laughs> we finally stuck it. We got it. That's where it's going. All, All right. right. We got to put Florida on there first, right? Florida, in case y'all don't know, we are from South Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Right. Here in and our first RV spot was also in Orlando. Yes. So, right, which is also Florida. in Florida. <laughs> right. Don't screw it up. Don't make no promises. Yay! Bada bing, bada boom. Where'd we go next? South Carolina. South Carolina. We had a beautiful spot on Lake Marie. Do you know what South Carolina looks like? Yes. Do, 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 do. Got him. Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Yay. And where are we now? Tennessee, because you're the only Tennessee. You're dumb. So all of you loyal followers that are watching right now at the beginning stages of our channel, you're the lucky ones. One day this will be completely filled up. I hope so. When's that going to be? Is that, our go is that our goal? We'll hit all yeah, 50 states? Of course. Yes. Where do you want to go next? That's what we're still trying to figure out. So if you have any suggestions, literally we need them because we, we're going back and forth and we don't know where to go next. So let us know what you think, especially- Where would you like to see? Yeah, there you go. Where do you want to see? <laughs> we'll go there. <laughs> Alrighty, for the bacon jam, I cooked 10 slices of bacon. You want to get them pretty, pretty crispy. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to reserve half of the bacon grease. So right now I'm just going to scoop out the chunks and you know about half of the grease left in the pan. And then I'll show you the next step. I got this great spoon we found it on Amazon. It's great for flipping, scraping any pans, scooping, serving. When you set it on the counter, it doesn't touch. I uh, love it. Amazing. I love it. It's Amazon. Mm -hmm. And it's great color. <laughs> yeah. I'll put in a link below if you want to buy one. It was like less than ten dollars. Yeah. What you doing, man? I'm just slicing up the onion, large white onion, very thinly to add for my Yum. Now it smells like onions in here. Mm -hmm. All right, now I have the rest um, of my bacon grease that I have left in my pan, about half. We put it down to medium low, and we're gonna add a tea, about a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna add my slim, thinly sliced onion. And about half a teaspoon of thyme, a pinch of cayenne, so it's gonna be like, burr, burr. that's it? Burr. You don't like spicy. Ooh. And then about a teaspoon of black pepper. And we're gonna heat that up and let it cook down for about 20, 25 minutes. Can I get a piece of bacon? Yeah, sure. Rude. But it's so good. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so warm. I'm jealous. I'll clean out. <laughs> How about some maple bacon moonshine to go with our bacon jam? Should I put it in it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't I even know think of that. I don't know if it keto anymore. I don't know. Uh, I don't really ever look at the ingredients of the moonshine. I don't think they really have an ingredient list. But I don't know. That would probably be amazing. Let's do it. Well, not yet, because I don't want to cook all the alcohol in yet. All right, let's just take a shot. <laughs> yeah? She's like, who are you? I don't know this girl. You've probably seen her drink one beer this year. You've seen her drink moonshine in your videos, but... No, I drank some beers, don't you worry. Yeah, true, you're right. We have one at the Yeehaw. I do it for the tube. Do it for the tube. So we actually haven't even tried this yet. Well, if you didn't watch um, a video we just did was at Sugarland Moonshine. That's where we got this from. Our we did favorite tasting. tasting we've done so far. And this was um, what they make the Bloody Mary mix. I mean the Bloody Mary with. They have their own Bloody Mary mix, which I loved. And they made it with the maple bacon shine. We decided just to crack it so open So we right haven't now, even just tasted it by itself. Which I will do for you now. Cheers. I need a little shot cup like they didn't give you at the tasting. I know. <laughs> we should have took <laughs> Another one? I'm just like sipping it. It literally kind of, it tastes like syrup, but with alcohol in it. Like, I mean, get it, maple bacon. 
I mean, I don't really taste a ton of bacon just drinking it like this. But in that Bloody Mary, with the Bloody Mary mix, it was it definitely had a bacon taste. It's so good. It tastes like syrup. Right? It's hot. like, if it was hot, I don't know, like, can you heat up moonshine? Because I think that would be fun. Kind of like, like maple sake. Like you get like a kick and then you get syrup. Mm -hmm. But I don't get bacon, right? Yeah, you do. You do? This I mean, I fantastic on pancakes. Yeah, that's what I was when he said he mentioned a couple other shines. Our mm -hmm. tasting tour guide that we had, and he mentioned a couple other shines that were great on pancakes or dessert stuff like that. But this amazingness is so good in a Bloody Mary. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're just gonna add a little bit to my onion mix I have going on for the jam. Don't start a fire. <laughs> oh, I made it sizzle it real is. quick. <laughs> Yummy. This might be the secret ingredient. Well, because it did say to add cherry, right? Yeah, it said to add cherry wine, which you didn't have. So I was like, I'll just omit it. But once Kim popped this open, I'm like, this could be a great replacement for cherry. Hello, it's bacon flavored and bacon jam. Uh -huh. We'll see. When you live in Tennessee, you start to collect mason jars. <laughs> <laughs> I literally always love mason jars. I love drinking out of them. I just think it's so much fun. Uh -huh. I make my whipped cream, fresh whipped cream, mm -hmm. and literally everything here comes in a mason jar. So uh -huh. I, just, I just peel all the oh, labels off and save them all. So Who, you want to show my green onions? Oh yeah, actually they're gonna go in. I'm gonna make hot, some hot tip. I'm gonna make some loaded broccoli to go with um, our bacon jam concoction that I'm making later. But <clears throat> we found out if you. Buy some just green onions from the store, use what you want, and then you take the rest and stick it in a jar of water. Not too much water, just kind of to cover the roots. And just leaving it out, we're going to get some sun. They will grow. This is a day's worth yeah. of growth. They, they were, were barely out of this jar. Inches have grown in a day. It's uh -huh. crazy. I want to put a time lapse on them. Save money, too. Yeah. Look at us. Look at our green thumb. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, we've used ground beef a ton for recipes for years and years, but since we started doing keto, it's important to use um, organic grass-fed beef. Even if you're not doing keto. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's better for you to, have mm -hmm. to, eat, <laughs> to eat a cow that's been eating grass instead of a cow that's been eating grains, even though that sounds kind of sad, but it's the truth. But honestly, organic grass-fed beef tastes completely different than the normal uh -huh. stuff you buy, you know, in the public's, you know, meat department, just mm -hmm. the regular ground beef, this tastes 10 times yep. better. And it's better for you. And it's the price is only maybe a dollar or two more a pound, which honestly for your health is worth it. And we are, we're hooked now. Yeah. Even if we stop doing keto, I'm going to buy grass That pack is only like $5. We usually get like a three pack for 15 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, and we stick them in the freezer. Mm -hmm. they, they stay in the freezer great. You just cut them open. They defrost pretty quick. Yeah. So we love them. Just an FYI. Organic grass fed beef. So I've let my crispy bacon sit for a little bit to dry up, and I'm just gonna chop it up for our bacon jam. Jam! I'm excited, I hope it's good. I have no idea, I've never made it before. It's a first attempt, so. It has bacon, it has to be yeah, good. Yeah, exactly, that's why I figured. I'm like, it's bacon, we'll eat it. <laughs> because we are in our home on wheels, our tiny RV kitchen, I have to kind of make up space where I need it. I have this little cutting board that fits right over my sink so it gives me another workspace more counter space yeah just an fyi yeah do what you gotta do absolutely all right it's like almost nine o'clock the sun is supposed to be fully set cody you having fun chilling outside all by yourself he loves just people watching it's our sunset tonight and not really not really but still beautiful out Everybody's out playing with their dogs, having a good time. Oh shoot, I never took out the Blackstone. Sorry, Erin. I got your Blackstone set up for you, honey. You did a good job. Nice and even. She used all these little coasters. It's to making it even. It for me so my meat doesn't roll off. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't want that now, would we? <laughs> Definitely not. So are you going to make me a fire now, too? Really? I mean, it's getting a little chill. Oh, yeah, it's actually really nice little, out now. Like oh, I just showed it not that long ago. Oh, it's looking a little better now. It's so pretty. Um, we have a great view. There we go. It's looking a little better. We have such a great view. We're so lucky. We are. We're blessed. Blessed. <laughs> blessed with a cute baby. Max still hiding inside because he got scared of a firework. 
Yeah, there's always like gunsh gunshots and yeah. backfires and loud it's noises random. and Stop Zach it. hates them. Yeah. Not a fan. <laughs> Chef Aaron, what are you doing now? Alright, so we have our onions all caramelized down. It's been about 25 minutes. So now I'm going to add in our chopped crispy bacon. tablespoon of our brown sugar replacement which is actually golden monk fruit sugar. <laughs> One tablespoon of that. Keto sugar. It's delicious actually. Yeah. I, I think it tastes like sugar. Uh-huh. That's a good substitute. And then we're going to stir that in and this is going to reduce down for about five to ten minutes depending on the consistency that you want. And then we'll taste it. Okay. Do you even tell them what we're having it on? I haven't decided yet. I'm going to do some kind of burger or a Patty melt. We have some keto bread, so I think I might make a patty melt with. Ooh, that burger. sounds good. I also have some fig and balsamic boars and cheese. So Ooh. if you haven't noticed, boars and cheese is one of our favorite toppings for meat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna make some something later. I haven't decided exactly what, but I'm gonna cook it on the blackstone. But because we got a different kind of um, boars and cheese. Yeah. It's a limited edition. Hold on. Limited edition fig and balsamic. Mm -hmm. We've never had this kind nope. before, so excited. we're excited to try it. I think it'll go with bacon, a little savory, yeah. a little sweet, tart. We told everybody how scared you are. Yeah, you little chicken. You're my little chicken. He's like the most protective little dog, but yeah, he's so scared at the same time. He's a big sissy. Yes, he's a big sissy. Well, you're so cute. I love you. You want some bacon? You want cheese? <laughs> Cheese is your favorite. Look at those ears. Cheese? <laughs> Wanna go for a walk? <laughs> oh my god. You're so cute. Alright, I have my organic grass-fed ground beef, a pound. I'm gonna add some adobo. And some Tony's Creole seasoning. And I'm gonna play with it a little bit. <laughs> Give it a nice little back massage. <laughs> yes. When do I get a back massage? <laughs> for all make this, me dinner. For all this hard work I'm doing holding this when camera. Make me dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you dinner as soon as you learn how to edit a video. How about Deal. that? Deal. <laughs> Never gonna happen. <laughs> this is what the bacon jam is looking like right now. Are you excited? I am. I hope it tastes good. <laughs> Let's go make some burgers. It's getting dark outside. We got flashlights. Yeah, but filming in the dark is not very nice for the viewers. They can't see very well. They can see your fire. Did you start your fire yet? No. <laughs> that's what. That's how they can see. I have too many jobs. <laughs> There's a lightning bug right here. Where are you going? Come back. Come back. <gasps> Did you see it? Now those people are making me want to have a fire too. Right, we got the blackstone heated up. I'm gonna rub it down with some butter. Who doesn't like butter? <laughs> I love the smell of butter. Ugh, makes me want popcorn, but I don't even like popcorn because it gets stuck in your teeth. Do you know you're cooking with fireflies? Fireflies! I love them. That's something cool we love about Tennessee that we didn't get to see in Florida. Very cool. Alright, I got my tools ready. So I have my organic grass-fed beef. I have a one-fourth measuring cup. I do a little scoop. Kind of gives me an idea. We're going to roll it up in a ball. I got my tools ready. We're going to drop it on the grill. Get my spatula. My trusty wooden spatula. We're gonna push it down. Smash burgers! Yeah, baby. Ooh, they're looking good. You excited, Coach? It's getting dark out. Yeah, one of my jobs is holding the light for Aaron. I'm such a good friend. Uh, Aaron put the last uh, three pieces of bacon from the pack on and that's going to go um, on top of our loaded broccoli. We're taking these little sliders off now. 
so we can build our potty milk. Yeah, come on, rest for a minute. You get to go. This is the keto bread that we have. Zero carbs per slice. Does it taste as good as regular bread? Definitely not. Absolutely not. But does it do in a fix for us not having bread in four months? Yep. Yes. <laughs> well, we've had bread. We've been cheating recently. Yeah, but like for the, but that's like, you know, we do that maybe once a week. For the most part, we're just ketoing it all the time. So I know what you see, it looks like we're being bad, but only like once a week, maybe twice. All of our meals at home are only keto. Exactly. We only have keto items in the home. Yep. All right, so we're going to assemble our patty our milk. Patty milk. What I'm going to start off is, this is our, um, again, our fake boards and cheese. I'm going to get a scoop of that, spread it on our bread, and then I have our bacon jam, our keto bacon jam that we made. I'm going to put this on top of the cheese, kind of help it stick to it a little bit. This is a keto version. It's a little more dry than probably a, a regular bacon jam. I'm gonna guess. I've never made it either way, so. I'm sure, it will be delicious. I'm gonna put patty, another patty, and then a little more cheese on the other bread. Never too much cheese. Of course not, not for me anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna make a couple more and then we're gonna pop them on our Blackstone griddle. Cooking up the broccoli in this skillet. Yeah, I like to like skillet roast it, is what I call it. <laughs> so it gets brown. Cody's ready. Let's do it. You ready to go back outside? <laughs> he loves it. You want to go too? Oh my okay. god. Okay. It's officially dark. Oh yeah. I like cooking in the dark though. I, like, I can't tell when I mess things up. <laughs> Got some more butter for the black stone. I just cleaned it off a little bit from everything else we were just cooking. A little butter. And then we got our Sammy's ready to go down. Yum yum. Just flipped them. Those look yummy. I'm excited. Just put the lid on to try to get that cheese nice and creamy and melted in there. Gooey. Gooey ooey. <laughs> so we're made our patty melts on our keto bread and if you are doing keto or you're trying to, you know, maybe not use much starch and you, but you're missing it, something you can do is pan roast your broccoli like we did earlier. And then you can top it like you would a baked potato. So we're gonna do some green onions. And some more bacon. <laughs> Oopsie. Some freshly shredded cheddar cheese. And some sour cream. We it like might seem weird, but literally once you mix it all together, especially once you pan roast it, or you can roast it in the oven too, the broccoli, it really, it's very satisfying. And we like to buy like the blocks of cheese instead of the bags of cheese. Because the bags of cheese have cellulose. Yeah, which is not great for you. And no. also, when you buy the blocks, it's much cheaper. Mm -hmm. And you just get yourself a little cheese grater. And it takes just a couple seconds to grate it yourself. And it's it literally will make all the difference in your recipes. Also. Mm -hmm. And it Honestly, tastes so much better, too. Exactly, it'll make all the difference. Here's our dinner. It's good. Try it out, people. Wow, it's like sweet and savory. The bacon jam, because of the that and the fig boars and cheese. It's like sweet. It's it's good. And we're drinking Lacroix Black Raspberry. It's really good. Check this one out. You happy girl. I'm so good. Oh my god. It's so good. Right? Keto bacon jam. I'm so sorry, Cody. I ate it all. There's some burger for you. Don't worry. What do you want, sir? 
What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for some hamburger? Oh, who's been a good boy? Cody has? Are you sure? Have you been a good boy? <laughs> smacka macka. Do you want some hamburger smacka macka? He's a good boy too? Yeah. He's a good boy. We love our little babies. <laughs> They're old men though. Zach's they gonna are. be 10 next month. And Cody is 11. 11 and a half almost. Oh my goodness. Stop getting old. Shaky baby, shaky baby. These are our caramel protein shakes. <laughs> Butterscotch sugar free jello for dessert. Woo! All right, so we're finishing off the nights with our protein shake and sugar-free pudding mixture with chocolate chips. Sugar-free chocolate chips. Pretty good. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.